Okay, miss. <laughs> Mother Gothel! Okay, when this tournament was first being done, this round was done like just after Tangled came out. I didn't actually think there was going to be time for Gothel to get in. I was so happy that she did. Like I said, here's Rapunzel. She's just kind of there. Okay, Word of God says Malthazar was originally going to use, I mean, like, in, like, the backstory verse. There's no way this could have happened fluid twice. He wanted to use Rapunzel's hair to restore his youth and beauty. But then Gothel got in the way, and killing her was more important. Gothel's snuffing out the light. And the hair is gone! And with it, Gothel becomes Gothelized. That is my term for this method of death, because really, um, I can't describe it any other way. This is like the only time this death has ever happened that I've seen in any form of media, so I just call it Gothelization. And yeah, Rapunzel, what, what happened to her? She's like the one hero and is just kind of walking around like, yeah, I'm in a world full of villains now, um, guess I better uh, try to make my way with my frying pan. Unless Malthazar kidnapped her or something. Meanwhile, at the Palace of Justice. Frollo still has the hots for Vanessa. It was really Ursula. You know, I sometimes get annoyed with how the fan base of Little Mermaid treats Ursula and Vanessa like two different people. I feel like it's because, hello, Kent Mansley, you're finally back, and Rourke, you finally showed up. Oh yeah, Rourke. Remember how I said that McLeach, Gaston, and Clayton should be best buddies? Rourke would be like the fourth man in that band. Animal Cruelty Squad, assemble. Yeah, they just make the greatest trio. These two and Edgar. But yeah, I, I just like how the Little Mermaid fanbase kind of, you know, favors Vanessa sometimes because she's prettier by certain standards. When I actually think Ursula is prettier. Oh, here's a big reveal. Here's a big reveal. Ramses is back! And that starts a huge thing. And Maleficent and the Horned King are ruling Egypt, which is pretty sweet territory. Anyway, yeah, I actually think that Ursula, in her, you know, her true form is way prettier than Vanessa could ever hope to be. Even though, you know, they're the same person. Oh, the Sheer Khan Star Zira Triad. This also becomes more important in Season 2. Necron! Hello! He shows up. She seems like such a drama queen. I haven't seen Fire and Ice either, but Necron looks like a drama queen. <gasps> and the Dredge. Okay, I haven't seen Titan AE either. Like, I'm sorry. You should really just shoot me for all these movies I haven't seen and should. But that was like the stuff just got real moment for this part of the tournament because... The dredge is serious business. Um, and yeah, let's keep going. Actually, let's not, because I want to stop and tell a pointless story. Because um, I'm not going to do commentary on this part. Uh, there's actually this hilarious thing, and most of you probably already know that this happened, so I don't know why, I'm just rehashing it for you. But um, last April, Manwoo decided to do this prank. He released a video that was titled with the um, number of the upcoming round. And what happened was, it was the that clip of the judge saying, destroy the humans, destroy them all. Firing a beam at the planet. And it shows the reactions of a couple of villains, who I'm purposely not mentioning, because I want it to be a bigger reveal when they turn up in season two. Who are like the major players. And they're like, oh crap, we're gonna die! And the planet explodes and everything fades to black. And then it cuts to that scene from Skeletor, uh, that scene of Skeletor from the 2002 He-Man reboot, going, I lied! And it was pretty much the most hilarious thing. Okay, maybe not the most hilarious thing, it was pretty darn hilarious. Okay, for reals, let's move on now.